Position 4 and 5 heroes often like to visit mid and help secure the lane for their position 2. On paper, it sounds like a good idea, but in reality, such move is not always ideal. I will use this clip from a recent match as an example. Currently, I am level 6 and threaten either heavy damage or death if Storm comes to the lane. So, Storm is doing the smarter thing and stays in the jungle until I leave the lane and go to the sides. What does this mean? I am already getting the most I can out of this lane and getting a kill on Storm simply is not necessary. I am free farming, he is scraping by in the jungle. Now, if the roaming hero was someone like Lina, assuming she would sneak up from smoke and we could kill Storm with minimal to no chasing, then it is worth it. But more often than not, these things do not happen smoothly and you end up wasting a rotation. Let's see in practice what is happening when our pangolier decides to roam mid. Naturally, no experience is being gained while moving into position. From the position, either you're standing too far from creep wave and still not getting XP, or you're standing too close and reducing the XP advantage from your mid player. At this point, Storm isn't even in the lane, Necro very obviously doesn't need help, and while the pangolier walked to mid, stood there and walked back, the enemy safe lane has pressured our off laner that was left solo, gaining an advantage and winning the lane. So, to summarize, unless your off laner wants to be left solo, your mid is struggling and your hero's skill set allows for a quick efficient kill, roaming to mid can be risky and often detrimental. Where did Radiant's middle tower go? Good luck.